Alrighty, top of the morning. We are back on the job that we were doing yesterday. And Jose was supposed to be here this morning. And he has to go back to another job that he was working on yesterday to finish up. He said it's going to take him a couple hours. So. Good morning. Good morning. For a busy day. Yes, sir. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, sir. Have a great day. Morning. It's a friendly neighborhood here. So Ethan's coming with uh, five yards of paver sand. So I'm going to have them dump it in the same area that we had it yesterday and uh, yeah I mean that's really all we can do right now. I, uh, I'm going to check grade some more with the laser before Jose gets here to make sure that we're all good to go and uh, the pavers should be showing up sometime this morning so be on the lookout for the pavers and then once sand gets here and I check the grade grades all good I can start bringing in some sand to this side area I brought in sand up here in the front I don't want to bring in any more I think you'll need a little bit more but I'd rather have too little than too much and have to take some out of here so we'll see I might even have to take some out of here but it's a little bit high over here but you know once you compact it and all that stuff then you can really get an idea the garbage man's here today so I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the laser now and uh, set that up all right, so I'm about to cut this. It's like a little self-leveling pad because we got this bull nose that's going to be going on this edge here. So I'm going to cut it back here so I can expose the actual concrete underneath so the bull nose can adhere to that because I'm not sure how good it's going to stick to this stuff.
So now that we got our sand in here, raked it out. I'm just gonna check all of our holes here because these uh these little drain holes from the pool deck cracks go down to these drain holes we want to be just underneath these holes with our pavers so when I'm doing this we should be a little bit above so that after we compact they'll be about level so I already did those few down there we're just gonna keep making our way this way Jose should be here in the next hour, he said. Just gave him a call. He's working on this uh, uh, retaining wall right next to a sea wall. And I did this retaining wall with him maybe four years ago. And I guess they had a bunch of big waves come in and were whacking it. And uh, some of the blocks got out of place on the wall so he's fixing that up and then he'll be here i just sent ethan to go get concrete sweep sand and mortar because as you saw earlier we were cutting this little self-leveling stuff out and we got these bull nose they're gonna be like this we gotta thin set them on top of that Build it up a little bit and then thin set them. Alright. Jose's here getting the guys working. Ethan just got back with some more sand and the dump truck's making a weird noise. But we figured out one of the sides, all the lug nuts are pretty much loose. So we gotta fix that. Go to the go to my house and get the jack and some tools so okay. we can fix the truck. Okay. Cause I don't want to drive it like that. The wheel might come off. Oh. I said a whole nother set of tools. Golly, this side's wearing down. Need an alignment. All right, so I need to go to the auto parts store and get the right socket that we need. For those lug nuts on that truck we just went and got our socket set and uh, none of the sockets in the set are big enough so it's bigger than a 21 so I got one of the lug nuts with me I'm gonna head down to the auto parts store and get a lug nut so we can get that tightened back up got the wheel on the dump truck tightened back up so that's all good again and uh, Jose and the boys are starting to do the front entryway. Got it all screeded out. They're about to start laying pavers. Me and Ethan just put in some drainage pipes. I'm going to go ahead and set up the time lapse here. Patron! Patron! 
show you these pipes that we just put in going from the downspout over to here paper pad is going to be right there on that line so stick it out of the paper pad that's where the water will drain so you gotta you gotta cut both sides both right? sides yeah you like you gotta figure it out the skinny thing run because you're making a circle yes oh but and that was hard yeah you're making pizza pie out of that sometimes you like want to cry <laughs> nobody just want to cry <laughs> give you your ideas Oh my bad. This thing is a widespread, buddy. Uh, yeah, I just feel like a shovel with all there, huh? Favor? Favor. All right. All right. Please. We're going to make this concrete level. Huh? We're going to make this concrete like level with the pad.
So at this point, it's getting late in the day, and Jose and the guys laid out the front entryway. I got about half of it on the time lapse, and then I will stop the video after this and start a new video for tomorrow of laying all the pavers and cutting some stuff in. And then the following day, we come back and we sand and seal it. We'll sand some of it tomorrow, but that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.